Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam, and in this video, I'm gonna be planting some hyacinth and crocus bulbs in front of this pansy bed right here. I've shot several videos on bulbs in recent weeks. I've planted some daffodils behind these. My hyacinths, crocus, and tulips have been in the refrigerator for about six weeks. I have to cold treat them because I'm in zone 7B. I'll link those other bulb videos up in this corner and uh, down in the description of this so you can catch up some on my bulb planting. I'm gonna, like I say, I'm gonna do the crocus and hyacinths today in front of these pansies. I haven't prepped all my spaces yet for tulips, so they're still in the refrigerator and I'm gonna get those planted next week. In the other video that you saw me planting the daffodils back here, I used this drill bit for my drill. It's a special drill bit for putting bulbs in the ground. Works fantastic. Sometimes though, it's just easier to dig the space out, place the bulbs in, and then cover them back up. And that's what I'm gonna do in this case. I'm gonna be putting them in from right about here up to here. And I had already prepped this space with the tiller, so it's very easy to dig. Another reason, these bulbs have to go at two different depths. The hyacinths are pretty big. They need to go about six inches down. The crocus are pretty small. They only need to be about three, three and a half inches down. So I'm gonna dig a trench, place my hyacinth bulbs in it, put some of the soil back over it, and then place my crocus on top of that. Here you can see the difference in the size on these. Typically crocus will let you know what the top is because there'll be a little bit of growth already coming out of the top of them. And you can see where the roots were on them. Make sure that root space goes down. And the bulbous part of the bulb is the bottom on a hyacinth bulb. And you can actually see where the roots were the previous year on the bottom of that as well. The new growth will come out of the skinny end, so make sure that's sitting up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dig this trench out. I'm gonna place these hyacinths in the bottom of it. I'm gonna put some soil back on top of it and set the crocuses basically on top of them. And then uh, they'll both emerge about the same time in the late winter. And like I say, these have already been cold treated. They're actually cold in my hand right now. It's finally cold enough in my area to put them out if it stayed warm after I've cold treated them in the refrigerator and I stuck them in the ground, I could actually end up forcing new growth on these. So I did have to wait until it was cold outside. And the forecast long range at this point for me is, you know, cold and, and cold nights, which will keep them dormant until the late winter or early spring. <music> The trench is dug, it did fight me a little more than I thought. There were some roots in there. I've got two different varieties of hyacinths. One of them's called Blue Delta. It's a blue and white mix. And the other one's called Carnegie, which is all white. I'm just gonna blend those through this trench, put a little bit of the soil back on top of them, and then put my crocus on top of those. Finish capping it off, and then I've got a little pine bark soil conditioner that I'm gonna put over the top of it to uh, mulch it. other things on these bulbs. Number one, the highest in bulbs can be a skin irritant. It's never really bothered me, uh, but I am conscious not to put my hands on my face after I handle them with my bare hands, but you may want to wear gloves when you're planting hyacinths. All these bulbs have a papery uh, edge on them. Don't take that off. Leave it on. It does help to protect the bulb. All bulbs won't have it. Sometimes it will have fallen off already. No big deal. Just go ahead and plant it, but it is better to leave it on if it's on there. I'm not going to be adding any additional fertilizer to this because I am fertilizing these pansies about every other week with a liquid fertilizer. That's in my uh, pansy planting video, which I'll also link in the description of this where I planted these pansies. So as you saw, I put the hyacinths in, I covered them up, about to put the crocus on top of them. I'm gonna put that on top, put the bark on it, and uh, that'll be it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Next week, I'll be planting all of my tulip bulbs and doing some additional bed prep for those. Mm -hmm.